Hey guys, it's Demiro again. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, slide stuff, uh, mainly 808s, but it doesn't have to be just limited to 808s. You can do it with pretty much anything you want, as long as it's a one-shot wave sample or MP3 sample, whatever. As long as you can load it up into your sampler. All right. So I already loaded up a couple things: 808, a crash, and a vox. So let's do the 808 first. Put a note in there. Make it a uh, longer. Let's do it right here. All right now for the slide. There's two ways to do this. There's actually three, but I'm just going to show you the two main ways to do it because the other one's kind of pointless. All right. So the first way. All right make a note where you want it to slide to like if you're at if you're at C5 and you want it to go all the way up here make a note here and double click the note click slide enter that's exactly how you do it now some people just don't understand how to make them longer or shorter <coughs> and what I mean by that is like how to how long it takes to slide up there. Like the shorter this is, the shorter it's gonna slide. See what I mean? So yeah, that's how you do that. And sorry if I sound a little raspy, I just woke up. But anyways, <coughs> uh also people ask me how you make the entire thing longer and that's how you do this you do uh you go into your what the hell is this thing called i don't even know the box that contains your sample go to the mode and then e3 mondo and only drag the multiplier up just a tiny bit not not like all the way but you can bring it up like about halfway before it starts getting bad and that will make your 808 longer So now you'll have a longer, you know, 808 slide. Cause sometimes people want to go all the way up to another octave. And it'll just cut off right there. But, um, yeah, because, like, the shorter the sample is, I know you probably know this already, but the shorter the sample is, the shorter the slide's going to be. Because as you go up the spectrum of the, you know, notes, it gets shorter in time. I mean so you, I mean you can stretch it if you want but you could just always get a longer 808 you know go to the briefcase volume one it's a great drum kit <laughs> all right enough enough selling you guys so all right now crispy crash here is a crash and I'll show you the other way to make a slide right now this is already a slide I gotta take that off all right, so you got your your base note. This is the base note, and you want to slide your crash up to A5. We'll do that. Sounds good. So that's how you do that. You just click the little triangle up here. You know, click it. Make sure it's dark so it's you know it's activated, and then you just literally click. That's how you do that. Easy stuff, huh? Now for the box. Uh, yeah, I know it sounds crappy, but I'm doing it low so it's a longer thing, so I don't have to really stretch it. Cause I'm gonna slide it up anyways. Doesn't matter. And this is, yep, I knew it. Yeah. So make sure that your bass note isn't a slide, cause it won't work if it's a slide. You will not. You won't hear anything. See, look nothing because it has nothing to go off of it needs a bass note to slide it you know for it to be activated so make sure that's nice and clear get your little triangle handy and then start sliding
see you guys it's it's really easy once you get the hang of it you can do it with pretty much anything you can do it with samples you can do it with uh hats not like hi hats cuz it's too short but you can do it with like open hats and stuff obviously crashes and everything like that so all right guys that's it and i hope it helped you guys if it did make sure to subscribe share and Leave a comment below telling me what you'd like to see next.